Congrats. You landed on the pile of bones of discarded bullshit. That's our garbage pile. That's our 2D garbage pile. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Including a 3D body? Yeah, kind of. No, that's a flat... <laughs> that's a texture. <laughs> that's it just has specular maps on it. Oh, it looks terrible if you actually stop and look at it. There's an item. Oh, it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. Oh. So the vast majority of people that I've spoken to, and me personally, their introduction to the depths is going down in this room first. And then having to go backwards through the whole stage. And seeing the connection. Yeah. Okay. You got that spider shield, son. Spider shield? Same in every game. Spider shield. Does whatever shield, whatever. Shield of savage mountain bandits, uniquely shaped... With a large black spider etched. Uh, has resistance to poison. That, ah. that may be useful one day. <laughs> one day. Today is one day. What's how, how does it compare generally? Terrible. To both of them. <laughs> hmm. It's much lighter. But, uh... It's like a heater shield that happens to be resistant to poison. Uh... Let's because the, the most important stat for you is stability, which is not on that list. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go in. Okay. Stability is 56. So 100, 30, 72. Yeah, that's way worse. That's way, way worse. Huh. But, um... If you need poison resistance, it's your pal. Okay. Well, let's find out. Oh, then the you're replacing the Black Knight shield with it. No, I mean, I was gonna do it for this big old poison rat. Oh, okay. It's about to poison my poison. Well, let's think about this. Is there a way you could kill him instantaneously? Oh. I guess. Well, that's cool. Really? Okay. I guess I should just... <laughs> Never mind then, eh? That's fine. <laughs> Is he a tough one? No. He's not that bad? No. Are you sure? Maybe you could finish him off. Oh. Are you sure he's not a tough one? He's not. That's a permanent death. Yeah. Because you can fall off the edge and kill him with this massive stab attack. In one? Not in one. It's like 90% of his health, though. Oh, really? Yeah, and it's really cool looking. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want to be like that guy who's like, will he do the stab attack? Yeah. Because that's 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 shitty in its own way. No, I know, and also like uh, people have gotten at your shit for being. I'm trying to I'm trying to go more hands off. No, I know, but that's a cool thing I didn't miss. Oh, well, I'll go look it up later. No. It's, it's the same as all the other stuff. Yeah, it's a big stab attack. <laughs> yeah, all right, I get it's it. Same as all the other ones. Oh well, we missed it. He was way weaker than I thought. Play through ruined. I thought he was gonna be like a um, big old. So now the question is, how do you get out of this room? What is it like fighting him face to face? It's a big rat. It's just like the big rat in Dark Souls 3. But the damage is real. Yeah. Um, that is... Well, there goes a friend. I was about to say that's a death drop. But then I saw a ghost <laughs> skating down that fucking slope. And no blood stain. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, now here's where I give you a big ol' hearty fuck you. Because the snow slope was like this. Yeah. And I went, yeah, sure. And it went, no. So why is the consistency that shut th up? Because Dark Souls One and Dark Souls Two are made by different teams. That's that's why. But like, well, you know what I mean? Like, why am I stupid for thinking that slope was safe? You weren't. It was hilarious. Good. There you was. You solved that. There was an edge to that. Yeah, there was, and you solved that, and that dumps you into one of the shitty areas that has the basilisks in it, which I already cleared out. Yeah, which you already cleared. Yeah, but now. They would have to Congrats, you've cleared the depths. There's only one thing left for you to do. The only thing I know for real. Oh, Alright. And this is back in this room. Yep. Okay, understood. I got it. So now you have multiple shortcuts from multiple bonfires. Like, if you saw the fire link one, the fastest way would be run through, drop, slide. Mm -hmm. But since you have the other bonfire, the fastest way is run down, go down the set of stairs, and you're done. Alright, so I'm going in with five Estus, even though I'd like ten. Yeah, but you need two active humanity to kick it up. And humanity is a limited resource. And you have to think about this, and this is one of the most important things. Are you ever going to use that bonfire again? 
it's so fun. And also, are you, are you, and the other thing is like, are you able to get to the boss with all of your Estus intact? Because if the answer for the zone is no way, I can sprint it. Yeah, right. but I, right, but no, there are areas that are tough enough that it's like you get to the boss, and if you started with five, you'll get to the boss with two. Right? Oh, I just got six. Oh, how lucky! Thank you, unknown Kindler soldier. Oh, the unknown soldier? Is yeah. he friends with the no limits? <laughs> no, the unknown soldier was just uh, those yeah. those strikers in Marvel vs. Capcom. It's also a very famous uh, monument. The, the Tomb of the Unknown Tomb Soldier. Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, yeah. Ah, uh, six, six should be okay. Unless you're ass. All right. Do it. Be wary of Caster. So if you don't kill that goddamn channeler before you come into this boss fight. Yeah. Remember that, remember that ledge overlooks it? Yeah. He can cast soul arrows at you the whole time. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Sucks. He fucking, he's an ad for this bitch, isn't yeah. he? Right, but you killed him. So right. hey, let's see what's going on. Oh, one of these. One of these. This is a real bomb. Alright. Six drinks. More than enough to kill any alligators that slip up from the depths. You're not an alligator. You're fucking disgusting. You're the best! You are the gaping dragon. You're the best! You're the thing that people have talked about. <laughs> you, just, you in particular have mentioned this. This thing is the best! Your mouth is fucking gross! Oh, so he was super greedy, right? So his thing is he's a dragon that got, like, locked at the bottom of this area and was out food for thousands of years oh, and became so gluttonous and, and, and uh, hungry that his entire body turned into a mouth. You're so fucking... So his tail also breaks off of into course a weapon. Does. Of course it Because does. he's a dragon. All right. Oh, oh, it's so gross. You're coming. What are you gonna do? Let me get that pick up in a second. Oh, that's what he's gonna do. Yeah. Okay. It's a pretty simple attack, all things considered. Okay. And you can pick that stuff up after the boss fight. Yeah. I love that him just walking around damages the environment. And he missed. Oh, and you're he's thrashing around like a big baby. How big are you? Okay. All right. All right. I see. Isn't he pretty? Oh, that was the right side. Oof. <laughs> and we got tails to worry so about. So if you bre if you bust his tail, he stops being able to do that. I see. All right. I'm gonna unlock. Yeah, this boss fights. He's slow. Woo. So yeah, Estus, not that big of a deal. Because Tail is just going to fucking wreck Because he, he does, most of his attacks do enough damage to just outright kill you. Gotcha. Okay. So now you're in a weird place. Right? And the weird place is, you do have two large Titanite shards. Which is two upgrades. Yeah. Which means you could... I'm going to go back. Go back to Andre. Yeah, I'm going to go back. Uh, this way? That way. That's the way. You could go back to Andre, kick yourself up to plus seven. Now that I know what I'm dealing with, I, I, I want it dead quickly. Very quickly. Which is the answer to just about everything in this game, really. Yep. And you can go to Laurentius and see what he's got for sale. Who's that? Laurentius of the Great Swamp. Your pyro buddy. Oh, is that his name? Yes. Because I didn't get one. He did mention his name. Oh, he, did he say it? Yes, oh, he says, he... I'm Laurentius of the Great Swamp. Okay, well, I, I didn't catch it. Thanks, bro. Sorry, friend. You're gonna, be, you're gonna be you're gonna be a cool guy for me, but he, yeah. No, he's he he is like probably going to be your best friend <laughs> in this game because he's a cool kid and uh, he gives you fireballs. So here's the thing: uh, it's been a while since you've used any of the magic systems in these games. Since the uh, attunement system works on slots, right? Mm -hmm. A fireball always comes with eight casts. However, if you were to find another scroll of fireball and slot it in a second time, you would have 16 casts. Yes, okay. Right? That, yeah, sure. That makes sense. So that's your most basic form of, of upping your, your charges. Uh, or you could get... Oh, yeah, you're permanently gone. Permanent. 
What were you eating? People. What do they eat? Well, the undead don't actually need to eat. So we don't have that problem? There's a... Okay, so Laurentia says... He was afraid he was gonna become her dinner and that he was gonna be eaten alive. Well, let's... Let's unpack that for a second. Because it's more complex than you would think. Every character you run into in this game is undead. How? At what point does his body disintegrate and rematerialize at the bonfire if he's going to be eaten alive? Uh... <laughs> on death, right? Wait. Does that rule... Yeah, I guess that would have to apply to all... Undead. All undead. Yeah. Yes. Not just the chosen. So... So... I don't know. At what point during the eating dinner process and being chopped up into food... <laughs> Does the, the process either fail, or he gets, he has to, oh, it's like that part from fucking, uh, Looper. Well, it's, it's when you're clinically dead. Like, the, the, the world, once the gods of this world call time of death on you, then... You just teleport. You get teleported. And it's like, oh, but up until that time. Well, that's nice. Up until that time, it's all fair game. Yeah. I absolutely love that... And it's a little tedious in some cases. Yeah, I mean, but, it's, 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 you know. But, like, it's like one or two guys, and then you uh, I absolutely adore the fact that you have to haul ass to get places. Constant. Do, do you want to go get upgrade your weapons? Well, go. I haul two weapons. Right? Go upgrade your weapons, right? And it, and it gives weight to the distances See, that you're traveling. Walking up to this because of the lighting makes it look like a drop. Yeah. You know? But and then, then as soon as you enter it, yeah. the lighting completely changes. Uh, remind me how many souls I dropped. 6,900. Okay. Not that big of a deal, honestly. Okay. Oh, wow. People are kindling all over. Yeah. I know that um, there's some Wellington hunters out there. They're trying. Uh, people are telling me to use the mod uh, that increases online connections. Uh, I don't particularly feel the need to do so. Yeah, I, th um, I think we got that experience with... Um, the long and short of it is uh, the mod basically... The game uses a shard system, in which there are about a dozen shards, uh, which are various servers. Yeah. But when it's low population, then that low population is getting spread out amongst 11 or so servers, right? Population in general is lower on average, right? Yes. So what the mod does is it forces every. You can choose your channel. Oh. And, and every and everyone just goes it's on a the same channel. Server list. Oh, that's really. No, cool. not quite. It's 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 more like it just links you to a populated channel. Okay. Uh, and everybody uses it, but like, eh, we've we've gone through the invasion shit show enough times. Well, I mean, we've seen that, and uh, the other thing too is that. Um, I've seen enough people, hey, man. I've seen enough people kind of mention them, like, hey, I've started playing it again because they're oh, playing it again. again. So yeah. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if there's just a I'll population. Uh, slight population. Slight, slight population. We're not that important. Swamp, so I can use the man a bit of care. Oh, yeah. By the way, uh, I can share the spells with you. Yeah. If you have a knack for it, all you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, uh, unless you find the magic's unsafe. <laughs> nah, man. You're cool. Nah, man. It's real cool. Wait. That's, unless, that's a bad question. Unless... Oh, yeah, uh, there's a lot. Do you I, find the magic's unsavory? Yes no. or no? No. You see how that's stupid? It's very stupid. Yeah. Yeah, wonderful. That's sure dumb. That, you know, be they, they do that on purpose. Well, let's get started. Oh, right? do they? Yes, okay. absolutely. There's too many of them worded in that fashion yeah. for it to not be on purpose. Romance is the art of casting. I like how we met two cool guys. Use flame, then channel it. Just as our ancestors did. Pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. Ah, uh, Wooly likes the guy from the Great Swamp, haha. Pyromancy has a. <coughs> Just auto complete that for yourself. It. it meshes poorly with advanced culture, and pyromancers are considered rather unsavory, which is fine as. I never got along with anybody anyway. So there's a really weird detail in that pyromancy is not spellcasting <laughs> and fire sorceries no longer exist. He doesn't care about being undead. Yeah. The pyromancer's flame is, is a part of his own body. The flame like a Kusanagi flame. Shut up. Oh, sorry. 
I, I'm, I'm watching the level three super play out in my head right now. <laughs> the grab version. I mean, he's not k because it doesn't hurt him. No. So. All right, you've exhausted his dialogue. All right, what has he got to sell for you? Lots. Bustion. Iron Flame. Okay, shit that I need money for. Um, okay. All right, fire orb. Let's let's go down the list. Six Just hit square twice, and you'll uh, hit square once. There you go. All right. Uh, improves upon fireball. Hurl fire orb. Um, so this is just a bit stronger, I guess? Yeah. Okay. It's a better version of Fireball. Flaming Orb explodes upon impact, causing splash damage. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, symbolizing the strength of Pyromancers. Uh, Combustion, I remember you. You were in DS2 as well. You're in DS3. And everything else, yeah. Uh, Iron Flesh. Yep, this was some of that non-fire related Now bullshit. this, this is big poise for big boys. Um... Pyromancy of Carmina, who harnessed the power of flame to actualize the inner self. Iron flesh boosts defense and resilience. Use this pyromancy. Use of this pyromancy requires caution as the caster becomes exceedingly heavy and unable to move freely. So you gain you, your movement speed drops to that of the the, the character type that can barely walk. Oh, is right? that like when when like when um that stone golem yeah. hit me? Yeah. But your poise and defense shoot through the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. It's it's situationally very useful. Where you're not going to be moving around. Flash sweat. This one makes sense with pyromancy, I guess. Pyromancy, da, 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 um, reducing flame damage. The most accomplished people of Salaman, the P master pyromancer, uh, pioneered new directions. I I absolutely pyromancy. love the pyromancy descriptions in this game because it's like, okay, wait, why does iron flesh? Why why is that? Oh, because you're casting flame on your self actualization, so your body becomes resilient. Which is what ridiculous. Why? It's like, what is this yeah. fire resist move? Yeah. Oh, it's you heat your internals. Burning, burning vigor. You, so yeah. you get coated in sweat, so you're covered in water. Which makes sense, like eating a hot pepper, you know, yeah. to cool your body down. But iron flesh of just like burning your spirit up. It's like, oh, really? So the concepts that we applied to the physical realm <laughs> apply to the spirit as well, <laughs> and to the meanings of things. Yeah. Like, what if being cold meant being all yeah. like excited? That you would know? suck. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. Uh, Hurl Fireball. Which is what you already have. Great. So and that's what he's got there. are expensive. Yeah, except for Fireball and Combustion. They're dirt cheap. Now, Modify Equipment is a lot more interesting. This is how you upgrade your Pyromancy Flame. You literally just pay him and he upgrades it, and that's it. There's nothing else. No, you, no materials. Wow. So hit, uh, hit uh, Square to see... Oh, okay, well. Uh, hit Square to see what the difference is. So, no, like, very, very little scaling, like, trivial scaling, but it'll kick it up a little bit. Well, it doubles the fire uh, attack, um, but... Which is just you swing in your hand. Yeah, but, uh, five points up. Okay. Yeah. That's so simple. Yep. No skill involved. Goodbye. Come back. If You'll be like, anything. what the hell? I don't believe. All right, now if you want to hit, uh, hit Andre, you gotta use your, uh, elevator. That'll be a much quicker trip to Andre. Uh, the elevator upstairs. Yeah, well, hold on a second, because why don't I just, um... Sit down and regain some, uh, ten Estes? Hey, friend. Hey, what up? What up, bro? Uh, so cool I, hat. Yeah, why don't I do that, and why don't I buy some pyromancies from this fuck? Mm-hmm. Um... Because you need salt to do so. You mm, need money. Yeah, do I, I don't... So, so this is a part in which the LP will have to be like... You need to go get some. You, um, you need to acquire souls. Well, it, w w rather, what I was going to say is, like, uh, I need to decide if I'm going to spend money on um, Andre or if I'm going to spend money on Laurentius. Pyros. Well, the plus seven weapon will be used a hundred times more often, but you will, like, Pyromancy's good, and there's no stat requirements on it. Can you p slot it in? It works. So what's this trick like when you're not paying attention to the NPCs? I mean to the to the enemies rather. What do you mean? Like, oh, when you just run past them? Yeah. What's this? Well, let's see what you get. Um. Let's see. So there's gonna be a bunch of bucks. Yeah, but I want to turn. You want to know? You just want to run straight ahead. Uh, oh yeah, that was no gargoyles was turning. Yeah. Straight outside. Oh, never mind. It's it's free. Yep. It's super free. So even though you have to haul ass to get there, it's actually, it's not a trek. It's, it's just go and see Andre. Yeah, go see Andre. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. Hey, I, I'm curious about something. 
I'm curious about something. What are you curious about? You know what? Let me level it up, and I'm gonna put my partisan to the test. Oh, yeah? North, south, east, west. Put the partisan to the test. What? I don't get it. Well, here's the thing. Remember, to level it up, you need to give him cash. And, um, that flame. Yes. Uh, why, that's a fine ember you have there. I You're not bad, Andre. Mighty weapons with one of those. You sure could. Not lend it to me. Uh, magnificent. You won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started. You won't be disappointed, buddy. All right. I'll be seeing you then. Be careful. So, let's just burn some money. Well, you don't have almost any left. Oh, you do. Okay. A little bit. All right. Well, burn the large soul. See what you got. One. Okay. You'll be able to upgrade that a little bit. It's so stupid. Like, I just talked about this naming convention, and then I forgot it. Yeah, I know. All right. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, put, it on the, put it on the belt. It didn't mean where it already is. You should be able to upgrade it. Okay. Well, I don't know again. You seem to need anything. So modify it. Yep. And that'll kick it up to plus six. Check its stats. You're gaining Ooh. eight damage physical and three damage nice. scaling because your scaling's improving. Yeah. So that removes it from the modify. And now it Now you can just reinforce it. Actually, you can now reinforce it personally. I can do armor too, but. Yeah. Which is a massive waste, and it's a reason why it was removed from future games. Because finding new armor is better. The the the, the difference between armor. Because someone and upgraded did say armor, someone did say, "Hey, Wooly, don't forget you can reinforce your armor." It's it's like upgrade your weapons instead. It's it's a massive waste of resources and materials. I think personally. Okay, this is a smaller jump, or is it? No, it's eight again. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yep. And uh, for not that expensive, so it's really all about this large shard. Yeah. Great. And relatively soon in the now game, to you will be able to buy shards from it. Like large ones. Okay. Uh, after a certain point. Yeah. Okay. Congrats. Oh, you'll be able to buy some spells from, uh, from, uh, what's his name? Uh, from Laurentius if you pop all those. Oh, you want to give this big boy a shot, huh? Put it to the test. This dude is so cool, man. Let's put you to the test. Partisan. Oh. You're... He's very strong. Yeah. But you have the ability to kill him. You just need to chill, take it slow. Oh. You're the luckiest motherfucker in the world. You're the luckiest motherfucker in the world. You know what? I forgot to sit down. <laughs> Let me just sit down over here. <laughs> Has that ever happened? I've never seen it. I didn't think the uh, <coughs> angle of it was enough that that could. What would happen if that hit him? I don't know. Let's hope we never find out. Are you for reals? Game? Are you for real reals though? Oh, did you see what happened there? What's that? I burnt a soul instead of using my Estus. And that's why I was wondering why I didn't heal. Yeah, no, that's why I was saying you're the luckiest guy in the world. Because oh, okay. you, you're about, I'm like, you're going to heal and you're holding up a soul and going, <laughs> So just hit down on your D-pad. Uh, yeah, let me just get rid of this shit. Like, all of it. There you go. Um, I, I think I saw his life go down a bit. Oh, it did. Yeah. Absolutely. The only thing is, like, he, he has a lot of life. And, uh, he does a lot of damage. But your shield is good enough that you can just block his shit. Except for his giant jumping attack. That you cannot. Ooh. Because it's weird. That was a three swing? No, that was just a single. Okay. He's... But the tail also goes on that. I love that this thing doesn't have a head and where the neck has been severed, there's weird runes. It's an awesome design. It's a really cool design. And his, he's busted, he's missing parts. It's so cool. And that looks like a fucking problem to remove, too. Yeah, you've seen everything he's got at this point. Okay, just gotta... Just gotta do it. Alright. 
the, if you get close to him on those, it's free. Let's try spinning this way. Yes. Considering all of his attacks are right-handed, I don't see much of a problem with it. That's it. That's okay. the whole fight. Okay. Uh, and that third one doesn't even come close to hitting you. Like, d d you, there is no roll required there, man. Yeah. Ooh, a little bit of greed. Yeah. And he's just gonna keep doing that every time. Alright, let me just top off. So you've got him down to about, uh, 75%. See how weird that fucking thing is? It's yeah. so awkward. So no backstabs on something as big as you. Yeah, that, that's that, wax. I can't believe I can block it. Yeah, but the reason why you shouldn't try is because he can he can put his attack behind you, and yeah. it, your shield has a physical hitbox that is required. It's super weird. I don't like this wall. Come on, come on. Give me some. Give me some space. There you go. So you're almost at 50 right now. It's a little hard to tell with the resolution higher because the, the life bars actually get smaller, I think. Remember when we were playing DS2 at fucking 4K and we couldn't read the damage numbers anymore? Uh, yeah, that got really dumb. That was really stupid. That's a weird thing to tidy your resolution. Also, that should just be an option to choose whether or not you want your damage numbers or your health bars at all. Wouldn't this be a completely different game if there were no health bars or numbers at all? Oh god. It would be nuts. It would be fucking... It would make the theory crafters want to kill themselves because <laughs> it would mean that they would have... No to proof. Well, no, they would have to find enemies that would respawn and use and count swings. Grab a ladder. Oh yeah, count swings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was gonna say grab, um, grab a ruler. You know? Ugh. It's stuff like that. It's like the people who do frame counting. Yeah, where like you pause the fighting game. You people are advance, heroes. Advance, advance one you, frame. And like, ha, like the, the oh, this fucking geometry. Yeah. So just stay near him. Yeah. There's no, there's no need to get fancy here. He has a very limited move set. The only thing he has is massive power, and lots of life. Jump. Fucking great design. It's Amazing. A, this is a titanite demon. Yeah. No, I love the headlessness with the fucking cool yeah. wings, man. So this is a this is a demon literally made out of your upgrade materials. Okay, you're standing on the weird geometry. So I'm just gonna like hope that you move off of it. No, he's stuck there forever. He'll never get off. He's missing you because of the, the, the vertical hitboxes. Oh boy. You might actually want to keep him on that. Well he moves. I was like that. That soul arrow looks a little bit. Ugh, there we go. Uh, yeah, it's not a soul arrow per se. Uh, it works identically, but it is a lightning-based attack, which means it factors into your lightning defenses. Ooh, that could have been bad. And, uh, I, you probably assume this, but once he's dead, he is gone. Of course, yeah, yeah. No, it, it would be t way too monotonous otherwise. Also, he's easily avoided. Like, you avoided him all those other times. Yeah. Give me my shard, boy. Shard? Is that what Excuse you Excuse me, um... Or would it be, uh... Um, uh, whatchamacallit? The yeah, what do you think he's gonna drop? The fucking good one. I forgot the word right now. Slab? Slab. Get the fuck out of here. Stray gives you a slab. Chunk? Not quite. Oh! <laughs> that is not at all what I thought I was gonna get out of that. Why don't you check what the fuck it is? Okay. It's one over. So it's not in the IKEA in the normal item list. Okay, uh, reinforces weapons born from special soul. No, no, special titanite stolen from a faceless stone beast known as a titanite demon. What a badass! <coughs> when the nameless blacksmith deity passed from several slabs, great beasts arose. 
The power of Titanite remains within them, and they still roam Lordran today. So the slabs that you find are not even as good as the old slabs, because the slabs originally had enough magic in them to fucking corporealize as monsters. So this will make- That used to be a slab. <laughs> this will, that, so that special souls, I assume, are boss souls. Those are boss weapons. So yeah. that's- I use one of those to make a boss yeah. weapon. Hey, also, you got 4,800 souls, so you can go buy a bunch of magic. Um, this worked out fucking great. Okay. Well, hey, bro. Yeah. So then, um, that means that, like, making boss weapons is not free. No. And in fact, you, there's there's probably a, then a hard limit to how many you can make in a given playthrough. Uh, you can make as many boss souls as you have the boss souls available. Boss soul weapons as you have the boss souls. But available. that Titanite was one. But upgrading them. Upgrading the boss souls. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, what you need to create a boss soul is uh, the soul is the upgrade item. And then the weapon is what you're using to upgrade it. Right? So instead of using a large shard to upgrade the spear, you're using a boss soul. Right? Yeah. And then after that, you need hey, Demon good, Titan. Good thing that closes, otherwise, fuckers would be dropping. Oh, yeah. Remember that dog? I do. That might actually crash the game. <laughs> Dropping like, uh, like, like, cause a bunch of undead into into like, a, like multiple zones over. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I'm could. just thinking like that might actually fuck it up super hard. Because hmm. not every elevator has one of those on it. You know, no. So. Uh, okay. Hey, Laurentius, what up? So I, I guess the other guy didn't show up. Uh, Dommel? Yeah. No, he won't. Okay. Four now. Okay. Oh, hello there. As always. Great, right, let's hang out. Yeah. So make what I got better. Well, hold on. That, it, it, that's... It, okay, It's going to cost 500 yeah, more every yeah, time yeah. you do uh, it. Yes. Okay, that's that's how that's... So cool. think about buying some shit first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, I would like Fire Orb, but that's so much money. And that's another six for a better spell. Uh, it's considerably strong. What's my attunement at? Do I have enough to hold... You can hold two spells. Two spells. Okay. Um, I think I want to get Fire Orb then. But fire orb uh, and combustion. Uh, sorry, fireball and combustion are dirt ass cheap. Um, fire orb is much more expensive. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really good though, eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me get let me get both. All right. And then what's let me see what well, I can get my attunement up to to have all three of them. Ah, uh, that might uh, attunement has breakpoints. Okay. Don't you dare go hollow. Oh yeah. Wait, but you don't care about being hollow. But you don't want me to go hollow? You're a bro. You're a cool guy. I'm okay with you. Uh, hold on. Attunement. Because the, cause there are certain amounts of levels for attunement that don't matter. Right? So you're at 14 attunement right now. I believe if you added one point, it would be literally worthless. <laughs> no, I'm not going to have enough money. All right. Let's see. Here's your attunement values. Alright? From 0 to 9, you have 0 slots. Right? Mm -hmm. 10 to 11, you have 1 slot. 12 to 13, you have 2. 14 and 15, you have 3. So what's your stats at? Uh, you currently have 12, 12 attunement. So if you kick, you would need 2 levels in attunement to get 3 slots. Okay. And then it's 14 and 15 require 3. 16 to 18 is 4, 19 to 22 All is right. 5. Well, I don't need it immediately, but no. I can just think about it. Yeah, th consider it in the future. Yes, I will. And I'm not too far away. You could go kill some jobbers right now. Yeah, so I'm just going to go do that, and then I'm going to uh, buy what he's got for me. And uh, I think that'll be good. 